Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Welcome to the Mocha Love Team channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. If this is also your first time viewing my channel, I might cook a little bit, I might cook a lot bit, a lot of it. It depends on what these cards say. I like to say hello to my first time subscribers. Um, I like to say thank you to everybody who likes, shares, comments, dislikes, and likes, and sh um, subscribes to my videos. Welcome to the family, and thank you so much. I appreciate the love. These are just general readings from now for mid month May into the 31st of May 2018. We are not personal, but if you would like a personal reading, you may find all of that information below in the description box, okay? I'm not completely booked for the week, so get your book is in, alrighty? Um, off the roof, air signs, what I feel for you. I feel a lot of, for the remainder of May, the chance of the 31st, I feel a lot of reuniting with soulmate energy. However, I feel like we're moving into different cycles. Some of us are moving into these cycles for the better. For the better of ourselves or ourselves okay and some of us are moving into these cycles with soulmates um after karmic lessons okay or blessings okay life has pretty much been a teacher a hell of a teacher for my air signs generally for fairies i love y'all my babies y'all know y'all have a special place in my heart i just want to see what's best for everybody and i want to see y'all shine bright like a diamond okay and so we're gonna Get on to it, and again, let me know below in the comments how this resonates. If it resonates, if it does, to the, to the T, and I can completely get to everything you need me to get to, get a personal reading. That's the best way to get your situation completely clarified and get resolution in your mind and your thoughts about certain matters. Okay, so let's rock out. First off, we have my Gemini. My Yanny Angel <laughs> Gemini <sighs> offers either you have a huge tangible offer moving forward financially, okay? And in order to receive this offer, you might have to take a hit in the heartbreak department. Hate to tell you that, but Ultimately, it's Gemini. I feel reflecting and healing and reuniting with the leaves. The true love that themselves have to offer themselves. Um, Gemini, I feel like some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all could actually be pregnant. And, and this is for a select few. Some of y'all are pregnant and you feel like what you're bringing to the world is a huge offer. What you're offering this person with the gift of life is a huge offer. However, they're not responding in the way that you want them to respond, um, whoever you're dealing with. And it's making you feel slightly left out in the cold and slightly kind of crying over spilled milk, crying over the things that once was, instead of focusing on the things that are to come, can be. I feel like a lot of y'all have the energy of wanting to reunite with a soulmate or someone that you have a family with or a new family, new found family with, new coming into family with. Um, and congratulations on the pregnancies, by the way. But I feel like some of y'all, if this is not physical birth, something that you would like to get off the ground, possibly to try to get off the ground in the past, possibly with a soulmate. I feel like some of y'all are trying to move forward with this. And I feel like y'all are being successful at this point. However, you feel like you're missing something. Because ultimately, yeah, I feel like the passion behind what you're doing, the passion, the love, the energy, the creativity, the oomph to what you want and what you're doing, what you're trying to create came from the love and the support of that soulmate. I feel like this is somebody who you could have been victorious with, who you felt like you could have been victorious with in the past. If you would have moved forward with love off of however you fought yourself internally for doing so, or you and this person physically had fights. Like, I don't feel like physically fought, but I feel like y'all argued a whole lot about the simplest things as far as moving forward. I feel like some of y'all are really wanting to reunite with the soulmate. 
to move forward and something that you want to do, you feel like you being united with your soulmate will bring the ultimate success. That energy, that creativity, that love, there, that, that togetherness will bring that success and that victory and that victorious energy out of a turbulent situation in order to move forward with the success and the things that you two want to love to build together. However, Gemini, you're finding way more success in that endeavor with moving a different way and doing it alone with some of you. And you feel like hope is lost with this soulmate. However, I do see that with working with this soulmate, this is a soulmate relationship where y'all are trying to get something financially, a financial endeavor, home business, something that you create off the ground. It didn't come in as fast as you liked it to, as you as you wanted to, or that the soulmate wanted to. And somebody, I feel like, bailed. But somebody bailed before understanding that it has to rain before the rain goes. And I feel like some rekindling is desired, literally craved for in the situation with the soulmate to fix it. I mean, literally, I feel like some of y'all even have beginnings with the new earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and they're very supportive of your dream. They're very supportive of this endeavor. However, it's not that easy. It's a great, tangible offer, a great offer. An offer you can't refuse, but you're loyal to yourself and who you know, and you're loyal to your heart. It's not that if. You're looking for a dream. That if is possible if you stop attaching yourself to outcomes with people. Stop attaching yourself to outcomes when it comes to people. If you attach yourself <laughs> to optimism and what could be and you put that energy towards yourself as above so below you'll begin to see in a, in a physical right now 3D right now 3D realization that I created this I manifested this with this this with an open heart I turned my pain into power See, I might have had that passion, felt like I had that love out of a tumultuous situation. But what I had was emotional burden and blockage. So yeah, it didn't move forward with this soulmate because the unconditional love, the trying love, that vulnerability even to fail. Wasn't that 100%, maybe more like 70 And where you might have been putting that energy out, whoever this soulmate is that you were dealing with. For some of y'all, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of y'all, it could be an earth sign as well. Strong emphasis on fire and water, though. And I feel like you have an earth sign coming in to build on that dream, to build on that passion, to build on that endeavor, to build on that on that broken heart, to build on that energy moving forward in your greatness. But your soul feels it needs to rekindle. For some of y'all who y'all took the flighty path, this is necessary. Whether they go or whether they stay, it's necessary to forgive, acknowledge, and let it go. So that you may move forward because you are going to you walk into abundance. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose some. But you learn and you live to reflect and grow yet another day. What door will you choose to walk through? Will you choose to walk through the door? Self happiness, making myself happy for the things that being successful and victorious of myself. Will you accept this help? Like true, genuine, trying, staying help. 
Are you going to cry with spilled milk? When you can move forward with spilled milk and success, however, it's not the way that you want it to. It's not going to be the way that you want it to be. It's going to rain before you see that rainbow. Some of y'all experience rain. And it's okay. Because what you truly desire, you will have it all. But for some of y'all, y'all going to learn when you take that off in front of the earth time, take it out. That sometimes what we want ain't what we need. And the divine will intervene the best way you know how. And sometimes forgiving does not mean the person is going to fuck with you like that. It just means I forgive you. And I wish you well on your journey. I learned something. You do. Don't be, a, don't be afraid to grow Gemini. Okay. I love y'all. Next sign, Libra. And I would appreciate it in advance if someone would please, pretty, 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 please timestamp these videos. Um, so that for people who are not able to just, you know, watch the whole video, can actually just get to their signs and can actually, you know, get the message. Okay. Thank you so much, y'all, and ladies. Libra. What is going on, Libra? Libra, I feel for you. New phases. Cycles are ending. Chapters are closing. Some of y'all case chapters are beginning. New chapters. Some of y'all, I feel like, are afraid, are you afraid of what those new chapters may consist of? Are you afraid of what you may have to sacrifice and give yourself, or well, uh, the piece of yourself that you have to give up in order for those chapters to be prosperous? Some of y'all are working on a relationship, and I feel like there's newfound passion towards you. Some of y'all are moving in energy that you haven't felt since you were younger, and it's a young, passionate, vigorous, optimistic, yet slightly doubtful energy. I feel like some of y'all are just focusing on your money. Some of y'all are focusing on something, thing, that one thing that you can't sleep, that one thing that has woke you up many times out of your sleep, but it's the person, place, the thing, and you're working on achieving. You're working on not, not just attaining, but achieving that in which you attain. Achieving at it. I feel like a lot of y'all, this is for men and women, some of y'all may be pregnant or have new babies that are coming, or some of y'all may have just recently gotten engaged, and some of y'all are taking y'all relationships to the next level. Some of y'all are walking into relationships or dealing with someone who may be a, a bit older than you that's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I feel like some of y'all are hanging in there even though you feel like your love does not amount to this person's love. Or how could they love me so much? And I feel like I only bring this to the table. Stop limiting yourself in your mind. Never limit your mind. The mind is limitless. Life is limitless. Love is limitless. Opportunities are limitless. Do not create poverty. Do not create limits within the mind that will create you from going forward and being successful in anything that you touch. Because anything you touch in the month of from the month of the mid the mid of, of May, May the fifteenth and thirty first is going to be prosperity, prosper, prosperous. I do see that some of y'all are bringing the passion back within long-term relationships or y'all may see a turnaround in your partner in the relationships that you're dealing with some of y'all are dealing with earth signs capricorn Taurus, virgo a lot of y'all dealing with water signs cancer pisces scorpio and a few of y'all are dealing with fire signs aries Leo, sagittarius i feel like libra 
some of y'all are reuniting families and finding that there was there was there is still love and what you felt was lost in a cycle with someone that's a fire sign. Some of y'all are uniting with this fire sign and I feel like you felt because y'all were once fighting and turbulent and had turbulent energy that there was ever no hope and success and victory in the relationship or that this person would ever come back and offer you anything again. However, there's been an overseer from the divine through this whole process. This was orchestrated. Y'all were just puppets on the street. I tell you, the divine when the show, we just puzzle pieces, baby. Okay? I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign, this person is your soulmate. However, I feel like there's a fear, there's a fear of a limit, a limit of love, a limit of the amount of love that's given. I feel like you feel like you may give more into the situation and give more love to this person. And you may question, do they even love me like I love them? Is this even love? Is this lust? What is this? Is this going to be a victorious situation or, is this, um, or am I going to internally fight myself? And beat myself up. Because I'm so used to one thing. That when the divine turns something around for me. I can't believe it. Even when it's right in front of my fucking face. There is victory. In rekindling that family. I don't give a damn how much y'all fought. If you put the energy that you put into the fight and the, and, and the horrible things that were said into love and unconditional love and finding the love and the divine nature, the unconditional passion, some type of form of 5D love, bring the 5D spiritual side of you, your higher self into the play. Stop looking at things for the things that you can see just on the surface. If you have a hard time finding something hard about, a hard time finding something nice about someone or finding something positive about a situation, think about what the hell you could be. Think about what you've gone through, but think about where you, because of what you've gone through, how far you've come, whether with this person or just moving forward in your life, period. Where are you going? You're going towards victory and success if you stop fighting yourself internally about what will be, what won't be, because you're going to manifest those things into your reality. You can shape and shift your own reality by the negative ass thoughts. Do not limit yourself. Do not limit your mind. Do not limit your abilities. Do not limit possibilities. Do not limit... Do not limit yourself to certain outcomes that you feel like it's the same old, same old, because that's what you've seen before, so maybe it's the same shit, so I ain't going to give this much love, I'm going to get this much love, because I'm just going to wait and see. I ain't saying nothing wrong with waiting and see, but know that this cycle of turbulence have ended, and this person has no motives, and you're just sticking around waiting to see what the hell is going to create it, what the hell is... This, this nice and beautiful energy is going to create, but it's going to create happiness, bliss, victoriousness, and love, and financial endeavors, and expansion, and all that beautiful stuff. That's what it's going to do for you. Stop being a fucking ass wife. Don't stand in your own way. Get the fuck out of your own way, Libra. And just trust the process. Because the process is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's phenomenal. It is one that you would like to pay for. And it's a show that you the star of. How you gonna represent the show? How you going to present your network, your network, your peoples, your soul, your spirits, your ancestors, your guides, the divine soul of being that lives in the depths of the depths of deep soul of you. I don't doubt that you have the negative shit though. Trust the prices. Why should I tell you? I'm in the middle.
Hare Rezi 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 Yamada Devi Kona Su This one is close to Sui Okay, it's one of your The next sign that I have um, My Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Sign of Aquarius Cross Watches Okay, Cross Watches Y'all knows it in the motherfucker, but I love y'all Y'all comment the most, to be honest with you. Share the most. I love that about y'all. All my cross watches, all my zodiac signs. Y'all the sweetest. Come and trade y'all for the world. Aquarius. Ooh. From the 15th to the 31st of May. Major, major karmic cycles. Major blockages, major blockages will be removed. They will be lifted so that you can move forward. I know you're tired, baby. You're tired of fighting people at work. You're tired of fighting your family and friends. You're tired of internally fighting yourself and not just turning up on every goddamn body, but continuously walking on this journey and trusting. You're tired of love offers. I feel like for my Aquarius is there is truth coming to a situation that you possibly could have been waiting for this truth for about seven years or seven weeks or seven months. But I feel for most of y'all it's seven years. Some of y'all could be getting truth about children. I feel like DNA and things of that nature could be a big could be a big factor this month for a lot of you. Um I feel like some of y'all are tired and trying to fight for the truth or trying to fight for clarity with regard to situations surrounding children or family matters or love matters. Especially if you're dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like from the month of, I'm sorry, from the middle of May, the 15th to the 31st, foundations that you once knew to be solid, ideals that you once knew to be solid, Mindsets for y'all who in the family situations is somebody who you fought with a lot. Aries, Zio, Sagittarius energy. I felt like or in water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I felt like I feel like you're gonna get a lot of clarity. Now it's gonna be a shake up first. Feelings and emotions and words may be thrown the fuck out. Especially if you have family or you have if you're dealing with family. Or close, close, close knit friends. I feel like if you're dealing with a child's father, child's mother, this person is a soulmate to you. But for most of you, this is a karmic soulmate. I feel like this person is going to offer you a new beginning. But for some of y'all, y'all had attached y'all mindsets around the idea of this person coming and it being a love situation with your family, having to, having to do with your family. However, a lot of y'all don't feel like it can be victorious without it being a situation where y'all have to be together with this person. Some of y'all gonna find out that you're not gonna be together with this person because you got wrong with this person. However, which y'all have, which y'all do have in common, and y'all do have to move forward to is reuniting a family situation or a soulmate situation. And I feel like it's just reuniting it in order to help both parties to find that balance to assist to bring back what was to bring back what was once lost. A lot of y'all are waiting on y'all shifts to come in, but you're not very optimistic about it. I feel like some of you, most of you are optimistic about it, but some of you are moving in the energy of there was possibly a shakeup, but there will be a shakeup between the 15th and the 31st. And ultimately, this is the, the divine had to do this. But some of y'all, the divine had to intervene and make this person break your heart and not give you clarity and allow this person, allow you to be. To you, for you to feel emotionally, mentally, and spiritually binded or blindfolded or bonded to this person because it was a karmic lesson to be had. I feel like a lot of Aquarius is going to be sealing the deals on past life, on past life karmic connections with fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, it's a lot of fire in here. But this person is definitely a soulmate. I feel like Aquarius is going to be receiving offers from a water sign this month. And I feel like, though there's victory in that situation, 
because the soulmate situation, I feel like you're not going to be able to move forward, which is what a sign until you take a leap of faith towards towards that shakeup, towards clearing that blockage, towards that confrontational, tumultuous situation that you had going on with the fire sign that possibly could include children or an earth sign that can include children. Aquarius, a lot of truth and clarity is going to be revealed to you this month. And when y'all get that truth and clarity, some of y'all are going to be real with y'all selves and go still off of love and clarity. Love to this person who is giving this clarity, but some of y'all may not do it in a loving matter way. Like we, we, we go together, we together. Some of y'all may just renew a friendship and really start completely over with someone that you may have a family with or that is in your family. But I do feel like there is a possibility or opportunities to start completely fresh in family situations and family matters with children. And there can be victory. But it's going to be after, after, after the fight. Again, I told y'all, it cannot, you will not, it, 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 you can only have the rainbow after the rain. But I feel like for some of y'all, this clearing, this blockage clearing is going to be a major shift in your ascending. In your ascending, in your growing, in your journey. This is going to be one of your pinnacle moments. You know, the pinnacle is all the way at the top, the highest, the highest accolade. And guess what? If you doubt yourself, stop and turn you doubt yourself because you are going to be victorious and getting and, 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 and successful in getting the information, getting the clarity, getting the mending, letting go of resentment, as well as mending and healing a situation in your family that's long overdue. No more fighting. That cycle has passed. Now it's a whole lot of hugging and truth giving, clarity, moving forward and understanding. Blessings on the way, friends. Real life blessings. What you gonna do with it? I'm just saying. Trust that the divine has your back. You have an old overseer. Always have. You had to go to this to build such a warrior. You're strong now. If you don't know, you'll know by the first of June. But damn sure. Air signs. Be true to you and trust the process. True. For real, for real though. Trust the process. It's beautiful on the other side. I love you, my babies. Until next time, it's the first of June. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> and I'll see you later.